Hi mga kawawmat! In this video, we will find the sum of infinite geometric series. Okay, to find the sum of an infinite geometric series, it is given by this formula, a sub 1 over 1 minus r, where a sub 1 is your first term and your r is your common ratio. Now, remember that your r o yung common ratio natin should be greater than negative 1 but less than 1. So, tatandaan, dapat ang common ratio natin ay mas mataas sa negative 1 pero mababa sa 1. Let's have an example. So, find the sum of each geometric series. So, I have here 64, 16, 4, 1, and so on. Okay, so first, we will have, we will look for the common ratio that is 16 over 64. So, that is 1 fourth. And then, we will solve for our, uh, no, we will get the a sub 1 that is 64. So, ito yon, ito yung ating a sub 1. Now, why do we need the common ratio and a sub 1? Kasi yun ang ilalagay natin o isa substitute natin dito sa ating formula sa infinite geometric series. So now, let us substitute the values. So our a sub 1, the numerator is 64 one over 1 minus r. This is 1 minus 1 fourth, kung ano yung common ratio natin. And then, so we will have 64 over 3 fourths. So, kasi ito pwede natin to i-rewrite as 4 over 4. So, 4 minus 1, that is 3 fourths. So, therefore, how do we divide fractions? Okay, so paano to ginagawa? So, we will get the reciprocal of our denominator o yung ating divisor. So, 64 times... Uh, 4 over 3, kasi ito ay kukuni natin ng kanilang reciprocal, so that is 4 over 3, and then we will proceed to multiplication. So, we will solve for this. So, that is 64 times 4 over 3, so 256 over 3. The sum of infinite geometric series is 256 over 3. Another, I have here 1 third, 1 over 9, 1 over 27, plus 1 over 81, plus, and so on. Now, as you can see, the, our first example is separated by commas. Now, this one is separated by plus sign. So, you can, uh, we can solve the sum of geomet infinite geometric series given by uh, this uh, series na pwede namang by commas, pwede rin namang plus sign. Okay. Kasi mamaya, pag nakita nyo nag-iba siya, akala nyo iba na ang given natin. So, let us find the given. So, uh, dapat mahanap natin si common ratio. That is 1 third. So, kasi 1 over 9 over 1 third. So, that is 1 third. Okay. So, alam naman natin kung paano mag-solve ng fractions, ba? So, 1 over 9 and then... 1 third, so kunin yung reciprocal ng denominator, so we will solve. You can make use of the cross multiplication kung familiar kayo doon. O pwede rin namang uh, direct, numerator and denominator. So 3 over 9 and then get the lowest term, that is 1 third. And then what is our a sub 1? That is 1 third, kung ano yung first term natin. Now, let us substitute the values of r and a sub 1. So we will have our a sub 1 is 1 third over 1 minus 1 third kasi our r is 1 third. Now, so we will have 1 third over, so this is, we can rewrite this as 3 over 3. Right? So, 3 minus 1, that is 2 thirds. Now, ito na naman tayo sa fraction. So, kukunin natin ang reciprocal ng ating denominator. So, we will have 1 third times 3 over 2 and then proceed tayo sa multiplication. So, we will have now 3 over 6 because 1 times 3 and then 3 times 2. Then, get the lowest term that is 1 half. Okay. Another, I have negative 4, negative 1, negative 1 fourth and negative 1 over 16 and so on. So, first find the givens, the, the common ratio and our a sub 1. Okay, so our common ratio is negative 1 divided by negative 4, that is 1 fourth. Our a sub 1 is negative 4, since this is our first term. Now, substitute the values to the given formula. So, we will have 
negative 4 over 1 minus 1 fourth since our r or common ratio is 1 fourth. Now, we can rewrite this as 4 over 4. So, 4 minus 1, that is 3 fourths. So, again, paano natin uh, isosolve to? Get the reciprocal of your uh, divisor or denominator. So, we will have negative 4 and then 4 thirds. Okay. So, and then proceed to multiplication. So, let us now solve negative 4 times 4. That is negative 16 over 3. Okay, next. So, I have here 1 plus square root of 2 plus 2 plus 2 square root of 2 plus and so on. So, what is our given? Our common ratio is square root of 2 divided by 1. So, we will have square root of 2 which is equivalent to 1.41. Okay, now, uh, as you can see, sabi nga kanina, Dapat, pag nagsasolve tayo, for us to solve for the sum of infinite geometric series, your r o yung common ratio na tinatawag natin should be greater than negative 1 but less than 1. Now, since 1.41 is greater than 1, so anong ibig sabihin? The sum does not exist. Bakit? Because our r o yung common ratio is greater than 1. So, tatandaan that your r should not be greater than 1. So, therefore, dito sa given na to, ang sum ay hindi nag-e-exist. Okay. Now, tell whether if the sum exists in the following infinite geometric series. So, let's try. Sige nga, using the common ratio, tell me if the sum, uh, if the sum exists or not. Okay. So, I have here 9 over 3, so that is 3. Ang sum ba ng infinite geometric series na to ay nag exist Tama! Hindi. Bakit? Because our r is greater than 1. 3 is greater than 1. So, therefore, the sum does not exist. Another. So, I have here negative 2 thirds and plus 2 over 9. So, ito lang naman ang kailangan natin. So, our r is 2 over 9 divided by negative 2 over 3. Get the reciprocal. That is, kukunin natin. So, if you are familiar with cross multiplication, pwede natin siyang gamitin kasi mas mabilis tayong mag-solve ng fractions doon. Kung uh, pwede siyang for cancellation, ha? And then, so our r is negative 1 third. Now, what is the answer? Ang samba nito ay nag exist you're right. Okay. nag -e exist siya because our R is less than 1. Okay. So, tatandaan lang na kapag mas mababa siya sa 1 o at mas mataas naman sa negative 1, basta nasa pagitan siya nun, yung sum natin ay nag -e exist Okay. Let's have another example. Show that the repeating decimal, 0.6 vinculum, so itong bar na nasa taas ng ating uh, number ay tinatawag nating vinculum. Okay, so uh, ipapakita natin that 0.6 vinculum, so ginagamit natin ng vinculum kapag ito ay nauulit. Okay, so para hindi mo na isulat yung uh, digit mo ng paulit-ulit. So, kailangan daw equal siya sa 2 thirds. So, let us, let's see. Okay? Now, 0 0.6 vinculum is equal to 0 0.666. So, yan yung ano, repeating decimals. Pag uh, nilagay mo siya sa calculator or kapag, kapag nag-solve tayo, yan yung nakikita natin. Okay. Now, we can represent 0 0.6 vinculum as... The, uh, the given infinite geometric series. Okay, so bakit siya naging 6 over 10? Because 0 0.6, this is uh, ones, uh, ones, tens. Oh, ulitin ko ha, ones, tens. So, ibig sabihin 6 over 10. Okay, and then kapag 2 digits na siya, ones, tens, hundreds. So, 6 over 100. So, that is ganun lang siya. Okay, now, you we will look for the given. So, our 
common ratio, 6 over 100, divided by 6 over 10. So that is 6 over 100, get the reciprocal of your divisor. So that is 10 over 6, multiply, pwede ka rin mag cross multiply. So that is 60, and then 600, get the lowest term, that is 1 over 10. Okay? So ibig sabihin, dito nag exist kasi less than 1 siya. Okay? Now, so our common ratio is 1 over 10. Now, what is our a sub 1? That is 6 over 10. So, meron na tayong common ratio. Meron na tayong a sub 1. Let us continue. So, we will use this formula. So, we will just substitute all the values. So, our a sub 1, that is 6 over 10, over 1, minus 1 over 10. Ito yung ating common ratio kanina na nakuha. Now, let us solve. So, that is 6 over 10 over, so, pwede itong 10 over 10. So, 10 minus 1, that is 9 over 10. Reciprocal ng ating divisor, so, that is 6 over 10. And 10 over 9, proceed to multiplication. So, we will have 6 times 10, that is 60. 10 times 9, that is 90. Pwede mo rin namang i-cross multiply ito. And then, so, we will, we will only have 6 over 9. Pwede nyo na agad idiretsong isolve ito. Pwede rin. So, 6 over 9 or 2 thirds. So, it satisfies the given that uh, 0 0.6 vinculum is equal to 2 thirds. Okay, the sum to infinity of a geometric series is twice the first term. What is the common, common ratio? So, una, highlights muna natin yung given natin. So, sum to infinity of a geometric series. Dapat kasi maintindihan muna natin yung question. So, how will you represent sum to infinity of a geometric series? So, ito siya. Diba? This is our formula to get the sum of infinity of a geometric series. Is means equals. Okay? And then, twice the first term, so the times 2 daw nung first term natin. And our first term is a sub 1. So, that is 2 times a sub 1. Okay? So, let us solve. So, we will represent our a sub 1 as 1. Okay? So, a sub 1 is equal to 1. Okay? Let us substitute the value. So, a sub 1 is 1 over 1 minus r is equal to 2 times 1. So, ito lang yung sinasubstitute lang natin yung mga values dito sa ating based dun sa given. Okay? Now, I have here 1 over 1 minus r is equal to 2 because 2 times 1, that is 2. So, cross multiply, we will have 1 is equal to, ito, gaganyan siya. So, that is 2 times 1 minus r. Distribute. So, we will have 1 is equal to 2 times 1, that is 2, and then 2 times negative r, that is minus 2r. Okay. So, anong next natin? Transpose. So, lipat natin si 2. So, we will have 1 minus 2 is equal to negative 2r. Next. So, solve natin to. That is negative 1 is equal to negative 2r. And then, divide both sides by negative 2. Okay? Hindi na natin, huwag na natin ilipat si r doon. Okay? So, divide both sides by negative 2. So, therefore, we will have 1 half. Okay? Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.